get to know a little of these great structures that almost truly scratch the sky. This research found a lot of information about the future tallest buildings in the world that'll reach up to 1 km (999 meters) in height, however these towers are still under construction, they were not inaugurated until 2018, so they were not related to the top 10. Also no radio or TV towers that are actually larger than conventional buildings were included. Once again, the Chinese show their great skill in mega-engineering projects. Of the 10 towers listed, 5 are located in China. International Commerce Center 484 meters, China. The International Commerce Center is a 118-story, 484-meter skyscraper built in West Kowloon, Hong Kong as part of the Union Square project. Development and planning was carried out by MTR Corporation Limited and Sun Hung Kai Properties, SHKP, responsible for works on the Hong Kong subway and the largest company involved in the project, respectively. The formal name of the project is Union Square Phase 7. The International Commerce Center name was officially announced in 2005. After completion in 2010, the skyscraper became the tallest building in Hong Kong and the fourth tallest in the world measured to the top, behind only the Burj Dubai Complex, Taipei 101 and Shanghai World Financial Center. Sun Hung Kai Properties, along with Hong Kong's other largest developer, Henderson Land, also spearheaded the construction of Hong Kong's current tallest building, 2 IFC, located in Victoria Harbour, Central, Hong Kong Island. In 2010, the building opened and became the tallest hotel in the world. Shanghai World Financial Center 492 meters, China. Designed by Cohn Pedersen Fox, the 101-story building was initially planned for completion in 1997, but work was temporarily halted because of the Asian financial crisis and later to adapt to design changes. Construction of the tower was financed by a number of multinational companies, including Japanese, Chinese, and Hong Kong banks, as well as Japanese investors and American and European anonymous investors. U.S. development bank Morgan Stanley is coordinating the investment in the Mori building. The most distinctive feature of the design of this building is the opening at the top. The opening was originally intended to be circular, like a moon portal, but the design began to generate protests from the Chinese, including the mayor of Shanghai, who consider the design very similar to the rising sun design of the Japanese flag. Pedersen suggested that a bridge be placed at the bottom of the opening, which would make it less circular. On October 18, 2005, KPF proposed an alternative to the Mori building design in which a trapeze-shaped opening will replace a circle at the top of the tower, which along with the controversial design change will also make it easier to complete the building in accordance with the architects. An observation post on the 100th floor also became part of the final design. Taipei 101 508 meters, Taiwan. Taipei 101 is a 101-story skyscraper located in Taipei, Taiwan. The building, designed by Tsai Li and built by KTRT Joint Venture, was the world's tallest skyscraper surpassing the Petronas Towers in Malaysia in 2003 and being surpassed by Burj Khalifa in the UAE in 2010 and by Abraj al Bayt Towers in Saudi Arabia in 2011. Taipei 101 received the Empress Skyscraper Award in 2004. It was named one of the new Seven Wonders of the Modern World, Newsweek Magazine, 2006, and one of the Seven Wonders of Engineering, Discovery Channel, 2005. The building stands as an icon of Taipei and Taiwan as a whole. Its style combines the tradition and modernity of Asian and international culture in a single project. Its safety features allow it to withstand typhoons and earthquakes. A multi-level shopping center adjacent to the building has hundreds of fashion stores, restaurants, and clubs. Fireworks launched from Taipei 101 are a prominent feature of international New Year's broadcasts. The structure is a landmark and appears frequently in films, television shows, print publications, anime, games and other elements of popular culture. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center 530 meters, China. It is the second of two twin towers built overlooking the Pearl River. It was completed in 2016, with a height of 530 meters and 111 floors. The building is used as a conference center, hotel, observatory, shopping mall and office building. The Rosewood Hotels and Resorts run as the hotel component of the tower, which consists of 251 rooms and 355 residences occupying the highest 16 floors of the building.
One World Trade Center 541.3 meters is Stato Zanidos. One World Trade Center, better known simply as WTC1 and formerly known as Freedom Tower, in Portuguese. Torre da Liberdade is the main building of the New World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan, New York, US. The tower is located on the northwest side of the World Trade Center site and occupies the site where the former Six World Trade Center was once located. The north side of the tower is between the intersection of Vesey and West Streets to the northwest and the intersection of Vesey and Washington Streets to the northeast, with the original North 1 WTC tower site to the south. Construction work on the building's foundations began on April 27, 2006. On March 30, 2009, the Port Authority confirmed that the building would be known by its legal name, One World Trade Center, rather than its colloquial name, Freedom Tower. Upon completion in 2014, One World Trade Center became the tallest office building in the United States, standing at a symbolic height of 1776 feet, 541.3 meters, and among the tallest buildings in the world. Lot World Tower 554.5 meters, South Korea. Lot World Tower is a 123-story, 556-meter high skyscraper in Seoul, South Korea. It is the tallest building on the Korean Peninsula. After 13 years of preparation and planning, the tower gained final approval to begin construction by the government in November 2010, and the first structure assembly activities began at the construction site in March 2011. Ping and Finance Center 599 meters, China. The Ping and International Finance Center is a 115-story, 599 meters, 1,965 feet, super tall skyscraper in Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. The building was commissioned by Ping and Insurance and designed by the American architectural firm Cohn Pedersen Fox Associates. It was completed in 2017, becoming the tallest building in Shenzhen, the second tallest building in China, and the fourth tallest building in the world. It also broke the record of having the highest observation deck in a building at 562 meters, 1,844 feet. The building contains office, hotel and retail spaces, a conference center, and a high-end shopping mall. Floor 116 feature an observation deck named Free Sky. As its name suggests, it is also the headquarters of Ping and Insurance. The design of the building is meant to be unique and elegant and to represent the history and achievements of the main tenant. A stainless steel facade that weighs approximately 1,700 metric tons provides a modern design to the building. Abraj Al Bay Tower 601 meters, Saudi Arabia. Abraj Al Bay is a skyscraper complex built in the city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The complex's tower is the tallest in Saudi Arabia and one of the tallest in the world, at 601 meters high. All seven towers of the complex are grouped into a single building, and its construction area is one of the largest in the world at 1,500,000 square meters. It opened in 2012. The towers are also known as Mecca Royal Hotel Clock Tower. The building holds several records, the tallest hotel in the world, the tallest clock tower in the world, and the largest clock face in the world, the largest covered area of a building, and the third tallest in the world, surpassed by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and by the Shanghai Tower in Shanghai. It is just a few meters from the largest mosque in the world, and the holiest site in Islam, the Great Mosque of Mecca. The project's promoter and contractor is the Saudi Biladin Group, the largest construction company in Saudi Arabia. Shanghai Tower 632 meters, China. It is a skyscraper located in the Pudong Financial District of Shanghai, People's Republic of China. Inaugurated in 2015, the building is about 632 meters high, divided into 128 floors, occupying an area of about 380,000 square meters. On August 3, 2014, the construction reached the top floor and a scheduled height. It is the tallest building in China and the second tallest in the world, surpassed only by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates. The tower is arranged as nine cylindrical buildings stacked on top of each other, bounded by the inner layer of the glass facade. Between this outer layer, which twists as it rises, nine interior gardens on different levels will provide a public space for Shanghai residents. Both layers of the facade will be transparent, and retail and event spaces will be provided at the base of the tower. The tower will feature the tallest in the world, not enclosed in an observation deck. Burj Khalifa 828 meters, Arab Emirates.
is a skyscraper located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, being the tallest structure and, consequently, the largest skyscraper ever built by human beings, with 828 meters high and 160 floors. Its construction began on September 21, 2004, and it opened on January 4, 2010. It was renamed due to a loan made by Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Sheikh of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, after he borrowed $10 billion to avoid that the Emirate of Dubai would default on investors in one of its main companies, Dubai World. The total budget for the Burj Khalifa project was around $1.5 billion. Muhammad Ali Alaber, president of Emir Propertyers, spoke at the 8th World Congress of the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat that the price per square meter of office space is US $43,000, and Armani Residences, the real estate agency in charge of the apartment sales, it sold a square meter of the rooms for US $37,500. The tower was built by Samsung Engineering and Construction, from South Korea, which also participated in the projects for the twin towers of Petronas Towers, in Malaysia, and Taipei 101, in Taiwan. Samsung Engineering and Construction built the tower in a joint venture with Besix, from Belgium, and Aradtech, from the United Arab Emirates. Turner Construction is the project manager on the main construction contract. Did you know these facts? If you didn't know of any, leave your likes and subscribe to let me know, and to strengthen the channel. Don't forget to check out the other videos, see you later.